Mr. Ferguson, is it? Craig, yes. Now, I understand that you're interested in applying for the position of our friend. That would be great. I I'm very lonely. <laughs> See why we need a new... Relax, that can be two foreign ones. Oh, I didn't know that. Go on. So, Craig, what do you do for a living? Wait, excuse me. I have the clipboard. I'll ask the questions. So, Craig, what do you do for a living? I host the Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. I see. And what time is that on? 12.37 a.m. Given that AM stands for anti-Meridian, wouldn't it more logically be called the early, early show with Craig Ferguson? I don't know. The answer is yes. Minus eight points. I didn't know there was going to be a test. Then you're really not going to like the physical. Now, please answer the following questions to the best of your ability. The first category is Star Wars. In the briefing, before the Death Star battle, Luke Skywalker is seated next to whom? Hang on, I think I know this. It's a trick question. You would think it would be Beggs, his childhood friend from Tatooine, but I'm going to go with Wedge. Correct. Five points. <laughs> I'm going to go with Wedge. <laughs> that accent's more charming than mine. I don't like him. <laughs> Next question. For five points apiece, you have 20 seconds to name all the stretchy superheroes. Go. Uh, Plastic Man, Mr. Fantastic, uh, Elastigirl, uh, Stretch Armstrong. Yeah, Stretch Armstrong is a toy, not a superhero. Yeah, but they are making a Stretch Armstrong movie. And Slinky Dog was in Toy Story. I think you see the absurdity of your argument. <laughs> Up. I'm sorry, Mr. Ferguson. I think we're done here. No, no, no you, you didn't ask me a single Doctor Who question. I really don't think that'll be necessary. Good day, Mr. Ferguson. <laughs> Doctor Who's home planet is Gallifrey. I said good day. <laughs> Doctor Who found the TARDIS in a scrap yard. <laughs> Trust me, let it go. This is not a test you want to pass. <laughs> Fine. I'll see you guys in a few minutes on the show. Does that mean he'll see us on the show? It was a humorous conceit predicated on a violation of the fourth wall, and I did not care for it. <laughs> we are well rid of him. Now what do you do? Do the Late Late Show opening title montage. But I just told you I do not care for that. In 2011, NASA launched the last space shuttle mission. As a publicity stunt, the crew included Academy Award-winning actor Michael Caine. But during a spacewalk, he got a little tipsy and floated away. Oh! Etc. Frozen for centuries in the dark reaches of space, he was finally defrosted in the year 2354. Captain's log, star date, uh, March the 5th, 23, uh... <laughs> oh, yeah, what, what year is it supposed to be? 2354. 23.54. And this is a stapler. Your voice recorder's over there, Captain. <laughs> well... Thank you, first mate. It's strange, though, if you think about it, that this far into the future, we still need staplers. <laughs> All right. Not as strange as wearing a spacesuit in a battle cruiser that has full pressurization. <laughs> this is vintage. And if I hook up a vacuum at this little port down here near my business, ding dong, proper amount of suction, ooh la la splat. Here. <laughs> and I'll tell you another thing, eyebrows. I got this. I got this at Cape Canaveral. Cape, is that a galaxy? Cape Canaveral? No, it's in Florida. In America. On Earth. Oh, yeah, I read about Earth. It's a, it's a small blue planet destroyed in a nuclear war started by President Justin Bieber. Yeah, yeah that's right. Now, I tell you, 
Don't blame me. I wouldn't have voted for that furry little muppet. Captain, we're approaching Orion's belt. Oh, 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 Orion's belt, that means we're not far from Orion's ass. All right. Sometimes I wonder why they bother defrosting you. Oh, you bloody well know why they defrosted me. I am Michael Caine. I'm here to give some star power to this mission. <laughs> <laughs> the same star power you brought to Jaws 4. <laughs> Oh, 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 Miss Congeniality. <laughs> yeah, you, you really classed up that remake of Bewitch. <laughs> no, actually, actually, Bewitch was pretty good, man. Oh. Yeah, I put a fresh twist on pretty some, some old concept. But Both of you, shut up! Back on Earth, we had a saying, artists make films, the rest of you make television. <laughs> You're a smug bastard. Yeah, possibly, yeah. All right. <laughs> Where are my bloody star charts? Well, not to second guess you, Captain, but you should use the navigation unit. Whoop, whoop, beep, beep, beep. Right. <laughs> this is a navigation unit, then, is it? What a lovely hat. Reminds me of something. I can't think what. Hey, well, hello. 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 You all right? Beady beady. Beady beady. Beady beady, all right. I don't trust that thing. The zero gravity makes them farty. <laughs> yeah. Lieutenant, bring me my star charts, would you? All right, there you go. Hey, thanks, love. Oh. <laughs> so, you just violated the alliance code. Yeah, alliance code of conduct 1138 clearly states no captain shall fraternize with crew members of the opposite sex. Ah, that's where I've got you, see, because the lieutenant here is not of the opposite sex. All the blokes on this planet look like this. Really? What do the women on her planet look like? You don't want to know, really. Here, here. Wah, 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 wah. What's wrong? Hey, he's crying. Oh, <laughs> no. oh is that, no, is that that's an official, official alarm? Yeah, I can hear a yeah, cell yeah. phone going as well. Can you hear the cell phone going? Yeah. No, he has. He can throw his his voice. Oh yeah, right. That's him right. farting. Yeah. Oh, was that was that you? <laughs> Wait, oh, Captain, we we must proceed slowly. These asteroids are displaying Brownian motions. I'll put a sock in it, will you? I'll do this. I've been driving spaceships since long before you two were grown in a test tube. Oh, 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 Daisy, oh, oh, Hello, love. Would you say I step out of this suit and uh, you can analyze my dark matter? Tune in next week to find out. Is this the end of the captain's long run of incompetence and or sexual harassment? Probably not. Are these two going to wise up and realize that starring on a hit sitcom is a lot better than being on an obscure late night show? And is he really a dude? Really? Seriously? I gotta know. Well, uh, I'll, I'll try and find out then. <laughs> All right, uh, where's my drink? Uh, carry on, everyone. <laughs> my first guest tonight is a very attractive actor. Yes, he is. Yeah, there you are. He stars in The Big Bang Theory, which is on Thursday nights at 8 on CBS. <laughs> Take a look at this. Whoa! <laughs> Come on, my yard, everybody! Come on. Man, you've changed, you know that? I, in, the changed. Last, in the last five years, I've really, really changed. You have changed, no, I think about this. Like, first of all, you come out here with a fantastic and very expensive looking leather jacket. Yes. Right? Yes. Which tells me that you've renegotiated your contract with CBS. Yes. And may I say, and I don't mean this in any way other than a huge compliment, you're a little bit sideburny. 
Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, but, which tells me you're, you know, you're... You're doing, do, you're doing burns, well. Yes, long you're, sideburns mean um, affluence. Right, that's... Which is a, always good. <laughs> Ladies always say he's got a lot of hair down the side of his face. That's what they're looking for. That means there's lots of hair in everywhere, too. I don't know if that's, <laughs> that's what they're looking for. That's what they're I thought that was a good no, thing. Yeah, you went thing. too far there. You always. Said. I always go too you far. You always go too far. But you know what's interesting about you? You bring it back. I do. Yeah, you go too far and then you bring it back. You know me so well. I do. You're the... <laughs> I have to tell you, Canal, you're the wind beneath my wings. Wow. Do you want to sing that for a little bit? No, apparently we got into trouble with the uh, music clearance oh, people because about... Oh, yeah. sing. <laughs> but I think if I say I, I really like that song, that will help, right? Is that okay? I really like that song. I like the... <laughs> I like the wind beneath yeah. your wings. Yeah, you. But you know what's funny about, um, it's not really funny, but the truth well, is... Then it'll do okay. well here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's funny when you start something with funny, it's funny, and then you say it and it's actually not that funny. <laughs> then you're setting yourself up for disaster. So this is not actually that funny, it's actually a fact. Is that <laughs> the... <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. All right. no, uh, no, no, but seriously. Uh, th this is, anyway, it's a fact. But... This jacket was free. What? Yeah, because y the thing is, when you don't have money and you're trying to make it, then you have to pay for everything, but then when you actually make it and have money, then you get everything for free. Yeah. Which is so bizarre. Yeah, I know, I, I'm still paying for it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. If I say I like that word, I can say that word, can I? Wait, you can't, that word's also not No, you can't, apparently. Can that you say, can you too. say poop? You can't say poop. Oh, 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 oh. See, uh, well, poop I'm still paying word. for poop. Yeah. yeah. Poop is one of those words. Poop is one of those words that's really interesting. Like, if you say poop instead of the other word at a bar, like a girl might be like, oh, he oh. Said poop instead of that word. Then you That means come... he's sensitive. Yeah, he's yeah, sensitive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because it's funny when you just poo everything, poo over everything as opposed to that over everything, you know? <laughs> You've changed, I've man. Changed. Yeah. I've become so Hollywood. I'm using words like poo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the big Hollywood word. <laughs> I just stopped saying. How are you doing? Did your parents come over and visit? Did that actually happen? You were talking about uh, that yeah, last they, time. Yeah, they came to visit. Um, from India, right? They came from India. Yeah. You take a flight. It takes about 22 to 24 hours to fly. Wow. Um, and then they came, which is, you know, they've, they've come to America quite uh, a bit since 99, and they had, a, they had a great time, you know. I love when my parents come, because my whole house smells like Indian food. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not Indian, and my house smells like Indian food. <laughs> but I do love Indian food. I love so Indian you know, food. Me it's, too, it's yeah. a, you know, people, like, people don't like it because it's too spicy. Well, that's because they don't know anything about it. You and see, they're, not, they, they're not people of the world. That's right! I don't like that. Whoa, calm down! There, Canal. Whoa, calm down. You went crazy there. I'm sorry, I've become so hot. You've become so hot. I'm just pooping of everyone. Yeah, I know. <laughs> now, what kind of Indian food do you, do you enjoy? The kormas? The korma. Uh, yeah, I like That's the... what I meant to say, korma. Korma, sorry. Yeah. It sounded like you said you like the karma. <laughs> As we're on the subject, do you like the karma? I do like karma. I think karma is a good thing. If you have good karma, then good things will happen to you. If you have bad karma, then the world will poop on you. I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I, hell, I, man. I almost go to the hell. What the hell? Because the gentleman said that I could say it, so yeah, I kept yeah, saying yeah. it. He's very excited you called him a gentleman oh, right really? there. Right? <laughs> Now, listen, where, what did they do then when they were here? Do you take them surfing he, and stuff? Uh, yeah. Uh, no. Uh, I've never... Uh, speaking of surfing, I, I did take them to Hawaii for one of my friend's weddings. You and I went did? to Hawaii yeah, oh, for the first time. Nice. How did you like that? I liked it. It was the fr air was very fresh, yes. uh, which is really nice. The seafood is very delicious. But, you know, uh, seriously, the one thing that really irritated me is that I'm not a big feet person. Foot, like feet, like foot, like, you know, I don't like feet. Feet. <laughs> I don't... I do. <laughs> I you made yourself laugh there, know, and then I you know, get out. Yeah. Yeah. No, um, you don't like. I'm, you know how that, that feeling you have, uh, not you, anyone per se, when you're on the top of a tall building, you that sense you have of jumping out. Or if yeah, right. Yeah, I'm gonna jump. jump. Right. I cannot, if someone's feet are exposed, not look at their feet. <laughs> And in Hawaii, apparently no one wears shoes, or if you do wear shoes, your feet are exposed. So if I was like, oh, that girl's so pretty, I would look at her feet. And for some reason, incessantly, they wouldn't be nice or something, or they wouldn't be up to par. Well, 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 and, well, then, well. and then you, no, no, and then what's you... The, what's the ideal foot for you then? No. So I'm like, oh. <laughs> that, is that the kind of thing you're after? Oh. <laughs> what the hell, man? <laughs>
Well, you, you're hating on my feet, you know. No, You've changed. See, you really don't like feet? I can't just stop looking at it. Please take it down. I can't stop looking at it. <laughs> I don't mind you looking at it. Yeah, but you've... <laughs> You've got those, like, you've got that little sweat gristling on your toe. I don't like it. Yeah, a little bit of toe cleavage no. there. Yeah. Do you know what ladies like, by the way, while we're on the subject? If you get a little sock mark here. They like that? Oh, it drives them crazy. I, well, 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 look at Lesbian Row right now. Oh, wow. They're salivating. Wait, do I have one? I don't, yeah, yeah. You I don't have one. No, you don't. Yeah. That Please was, stop doing that. I, I know, don't sorry. Look that was disgusting. All right, so. There you go. Please, come on. I don't like it. All right, I'll see. Yeah. All right. It's, it's, it's behind you. Put now. your socks back on because you're going to oh, pull man. something, I know, and then I'll be talking and your foot will be. All right, right. I'll put I'll my sock back on. She was lighting up about her feet. All right. Anyway, so, so that, you went to Hawaii. Was that nice? Then you gave everyone a hard time. Did put shoes on, everyone. No, I, I had to become okay with it. Uh, but you know, it's like you, you're you're drinking some some nice drinks and you're eating some food and then people are there and they're picking their toes and they're eating their pizza and it's disgusting. Um, anyway, yeah, Hawaii was lovely. Yeah. Uh, hey, 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 we have to take a commercial break. Okay. Yes. Yeah, you know who's sponsoring the show tonight? Who? Mysel Foot Powder. <laughs> Is that a real thing? <laughs> that would be funny, though. That would be funny. Yeah. No, we'll take a commercial break. Okay. Jeff, Jeff, I, I'd show, I'd show now your feet, will you? Why don't you come over here and I'll show you. <laughs> Do the commercial break thing, Jeff. All right. Tonight's program brought to you by Foot Powder. We'll see you in just a moment. Uh, if you don't know anything about Canal, he's the guy in Hollywood that loves feet. So, <laughs> if you ever run into Canal, the thing to do is take off your socks and shoes and give him a good rub. No, no. What's the deal with feet? Did someone hurt you with their feet when you no, were No, I don't know what it is. You know what it is? I just think that I'm all, sometimes I'm, I'm worried that if someone's really, someone's really perfect, then I'll find an imperfection in them. And it was always the feet. And just, I feel like... Well, I don't, wait, 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 wait. Is it, is it we talking about a, a potential mate here? Someone that you would like to, you know, date and potentially marry? Is that what we're talking about? See, now you're painting me into a corner. I'm not painting you. You're, 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 I'm your. I'm not I'm painting you, anything. I'm man. your mosaic. Yeah, you're, you're not my mosaic. I'm just. I'm trying to help you, man. Think of me as a psychiatrist. Okay. All right. So. So one day. Um, no. I. Uh, no. I, I. The feet thing. I think that like. Okay. Without pissing off my. Can I say pissing? And without. As long as you don't sing it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, pissing in the rain. Yeah. Instead of uh, cheesing off my entire race. No, actually, I'm not going to say anything. I just think that the... the <laughs> I think that was a very wise <laughs> move. Okay, let's skip the feet thing. Okay, right, I don't okay. like feet. All right, okay. so let, well, let, let's, let's look at that from a different angle then. Okay. What are you looking for in a lady? Hmm. Well, other than the physical attributes that I enjoy. Well, what are they? <laughs> Be shy. You're all okay. right to say I like a woman who has lovely hair or beautiful eyes. Say I, that, man. Don't say anything else. Just okay, say that. Just say that. Okay. I love uh, he, luscious long hair. Uh, and, and I like eyes. And a nice smile. And a nice smile and intelligence. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this kid's amazing, isn't he? <laughs> intelligence does matter. Come no, on. of course because it does. Yeah. After the fantasy subsides, you know, then it just becomes like a one night stand. Not that I know anything about that. Right. But if I was yeah. to have a one night stand. You know, once the fantasy subsides, then you start paying attention to stuff like feet and stuff, right? So it has to be, it has to be, <laughs> I gotta get over this feet thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but, but seriously, what do I look in a, for in a woman? Uh, she has to have a good sense of humor to make that, me laugh. Now, now, everybody says. No, no, but that's the truth. No, you can't, you can't say you're the cliche because you always say that because no, no, that's the no, truth. No, wait, wait, I wasn't gonna say that. <laughs> What I was going to say is that a sense of humour is a, it's a big thing to say. So what I'm saying is, what, what sense of humour are we talking about? Someone that enjoys poop jokes? Or are we talking about someone who enjoys the cartoons in the New Yorker? I.e. a pedantic Ooh, la, la. idiot. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah. Right. God. Can, no? No, no. I can't that. say... I can't you say, can't say uh, New Yorker? Can't pedantic? New Yorker? Oh, yeah. Come on. Yeah. No, um... The, the, the poop kind. I like the poop kind of sense of humor. Like, so you're looking for, you're looking for a gregarious, fun-loving woman yes. with nice hair and good eyes. Yes, who's, who, it doesn't, I don't care if she's intelligent, but she has to be, uh, 
She has to have a good I think I think that might have slipped out there, man. <laughs> she has to have um she has to have a good sense of humor. Right. She has to be kind to animals. Well, that, all, uh, most women I know are kind to animals. It's a, uh, you have not met some of the women that I know. <laughs> They're cruel to animals? Well, then, just, you know, being indifferent to an animal is being cruel to an animal. Well, I, who? I'm, not, I'm not one of those, like, I care for animals fanatics. I'm just saying, like, uh, like I'm, I'm not going to dress up my dog in a sweater and call him Bugsy and say, hey, look at my friend Bugsy. I'm not that guy, okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's, that happened once. It's a long story. But, uh... <laughs> But like, you know, people who, I don't trust people who don't care for dogs. No, no, I, I hear what you're saying. You know what I mean? Uh, you yeah, care for dogs? I, I trust I, I you. I have three dogs. I have three oh, dogs I trust and, you and I care for two of them. Okay. Yeah. I, I trust you 85%. Right, right. Well, the thing is, one of my dogs is a Jack Russell Terror and it's a very, very difficult, difficult oh, really? animal to, to be fond of. Why? Times. Because it's, I got a I got a Oh, really? Yeah. Like, is he like, is he like, like that all the no, time? It's, yeah, it's, a, it's a Jack Russell Terrier. It's, a, it's, a, it's an Irish fighting dog. Oh. Yeah. I wonder where he takes off this monster from. But, uh, I... <laughs> that wasn't a dig. No, no, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was... Do you have any dogs? I, uh, it, yes, in India we have a, a black Labrador and then what we in Hindi call a Lunter, which is just a... A Lunter is just a... a, a what's the word I'm looking for? Like Mongo? a street dog. A mongrel. Right, right. A street dog called Cuddles. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that makes you laugh. You, 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 What's a you, don't want, you don't want to be cruel to dogs, but you call a, your mongrel Cuddles? <laughs> That's true. Yeah. It's funny. It's funny when, like, a street dog is called Cuddles, right? Like, I, like if a small dog is called Boss, that's funny. Yeah. yeah. What's the funniest dog name? Uh, not to put you on the spot. It's your talk show. I should stop talking. But anyway. Uh... <laughs> no, man. I, I'm very happy that you do. Ken. Ken? Yeah, I, I know a guy called, I had a dog called Ken. Did thought, they have a girl dog called Barbie? That's the worst joke ever, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know if that was technically a joke there, Canal. I was just, was a question. I really. should just date myself. Um, well, let's, let's talk about that. Do you date yourself, if you know what I mean? Do you, uh, are you a big self-dater? Uh, well, I have, I have long hair and, and eyes and I'm not that intelligent. You're right, and yeah. So, I do, I, I do look for, um... Do you, uh, well, let me ask you something. Are, okay. you, are you more attracted to Indian girls? Are you looking for a girl from your own cultural background, or are you... No, my, I, I, no, I'm... Is very, that important? Not to me. Right. I, I'm very open to uh, all of the ladies. Any lady, in fact. Uh, in, <laughs> any lady that would give me the time of day. Um, right. So, so really, you know, like, beggars can't be choosers. In right, I, like, I, I, I can't just be like, oh, wow, you're a white girl, I'm not gonna talk to you. I'm like, you're a girl, you're talking to me? Hey, nice to meet you. Check out my leather jacket. Yeah, that'll do very well, yeah. yeah. So, I'm, I'm open to all the ladies. Good. All of the ladies. Good. How, 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 what about you? Are you how open? Oh, no, I'm married. I'm yeah, open to none of the ladies. Yeah. Yeah. Anything no. else going on? You kidding me? I'm married, man. No. Uh, no, nothing. Uh, we're out of time. So, oh, okay, uh, cool. Uh, do, yeah. you wanna, uh, okay. do you want to sing a prayer? Or no, 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 no. We have to do uh, awkward pause. Okay, awkward pause is good. I like awkward pause. Wait, 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 wait. You haven't got all the options yet. Oh, okay, sorry. All right, awkward pause. Uh. Uh, mouth organ. Okay. <laughs> or go for the big cash prize. <laughs> Well, it's this show, so I'm gonna skip that one. Why? And, uh, <laughs> Why? <laughs> the big cash prize is right. Fifty bucks in singles, my friend. Oh, really? Yeah. Take that and put it in your little leather jacket. <laughs> Fifty bucks in singles. Wait. Right there. Well, since I've renegotiated my contract, I'm gonna pass on that. But oh, let's okay. let's do the let's do the awkward pause. Or right, I'll leave the money you there. Know what? Anyway. Can't you just give the cash prize to the audience? Sure. <laughs> Sorry, uh, sorry, for legal reasons, I can't. Oh, okay. <laughs> can I give him a mic? Can, can give? Can I give him a mic? Like, I can't. Can, like, I just, I just, like, throw it at them. <laughs> and then, once it's ripping, that's cool. Right. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no. That's I'll, just I'll, I'll wait to the end of the show and then throw it. <laughs> throw it at lesbian row. <laughs> and, and see what? <laughs> Maybe I won't. That's a good-looking lesbian role. Yeah, yeah, I think some of these girls aren't lesbians, oh, to be honest. Okay. I, um, not that lesbians can't be good-looking. I look forward to your letters, for heaven's sake. Uh, so, what do you want to do? Um, we've, 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 nixed state, we've nixed the cash prize. Right, no cash prize, so we're going straight for the awkward, awkward pause? pause? All right, awkward pause with subtext. Okay. All right.
My first guest tonight is a fantastic actor. He stars in The Big Bang Theory, which new season premieres on September 27th on CBS. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at this. Ladies, please, ladies, please. I mean, ladies, how do you know it's ladies clapping? I think the ladies weren't clapping. It was only the gentlemen that were clapping. The ladies were like, we don't care for him, Craig. That's not true. A lady's clap is very delicate. And this was delicate clapping. Yeah. You can tell the difference between male and female clapping? You can't? I can't. Okay, close your eyes. Someone clap. All right. Uh, 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 a man or a woman clap. Just one person. All right. No, no, just one, just, no, please, one person. Okay, one, one person, now. I can tell. Woman or man? A man, I opened my eyes, oh. it was a warm eye. <laughs> this is a stupid game. How are you? <laughs> I, I, I was really enjoying that game, but... Uh, That's uh, a terrible game, it's rubbish. Uh, I'm lovely, I'm lovely. Uh, you are lovely, everything, you are... Everything. You, look, what, uh, you look great, you look very well and, and really? fit. Yeah. yeah, I recently got married. Well, so, there you are, uh, congratulations. Uh, so, uh, so my wife dressed me today. I think that's really why I'm looking. I at actually it. dressed you like she you stand by the side of the bed. She me. puts yeah, your underpants me. on and straight no to the pants. Just straight to the pants. You, it's my new thing. You don't wear underpants. It's my new thing, but I can't talk about it on air. No, I think we have to. Well, it's just it's very freeing. So underneath your... Can, can I be honest though? You know what it really is? What? Is that as I've gotten older, when I wear tight undies, it pushes the skin of my belly up and it looks like I have a belly, which I don't really have a belly. So whoa, 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 whoa. If you don't have a belly, then how can it be pushed up I by the other belly. Brand? I have a little belly, that's the truth. Well, that's so part of being married. You, you, you'll get a little fatter. Really? You oh, look, yes. You, you're married, you look wonderful. Yeah, but I'm fatter than I used to be. That's true, you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just, you know, they start feeding you up in case I you know. get any ideas. You look... <laughs> Wait, let me process that. Yeah. In case you start thinking, eh, I still got it going on. No, you don't have it going on. Oh, no. That's no. the funny thing about marriage is, um, I, I'm clearly not wearing the pants in the relationship. I can't say pants without thinking about underwear. But um, <laughs> I b basically... You know, my wife obviously knows me well enough to know that I'm not the most manly man in the world. Oh, I mean, come on. Listen, I'm not like effeminate, but I'm also not manly. But yet, she still makes me do um, all of the manly things in the house. Well, you have to take out the trash and all that? I, yeah. Oh, that's, oh, that's outrageous. Uh, haven't we moved on? <laughs> haven't we moved no, on? No, I, as much as progress we've made in this world, I still have to take out the trash. <laughs> What about putting up shelving? Do you have to do any of that? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I mean, no. No. No, no. I, I tried... I, tr I have hung a few, uh, a few pictures on the wall uh, with a hammer and a nail, which is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. But they're yeah. always crooked. They're always yeah. crooked because I never used that, that... You know that bubble thing, the level thing? I don't know how to use no, it. No, no, you don't use the bubble thing. You can't do that. What do you use? You use a little bit of uh, bubble gum. Uh, <laughs> Behind and then you get the picture right and then you, you put the gum behind it and you squeeze it in and then it stays where you want it to go. Oh, it I should have my own show. Yeah. <laughs> uh, good time. Hey, I, no, I knew you were going to be, get married because I saw you at the airport. Uh, yes. Before, it was just before Christmas, wasn't it? And do you know that you cut the line? I had to. I had to cut the line. Why? I had shingles at the time. Oh, really? It was, it was a medical emergency. I had to get to a comfortable seat very soon. I... Wait, is shingles contagious? Because I hugged you. Yeah. Well, how did you feel? Awful. Yeah. <laughs>
Why that did, sounds like shingles. I, why did you tell me I was going on the way to getting married? I didn't, you... want, I didn't want you to think, oh no, I'm going to get shingles on the way to my wedding, which you probably <laughs> did. <laughs> you gave me shingles. No, on my I, I don't think no, it's. I, I don't know. I think I it know. is. It can be contagious if you rub up against the actual shingly bit. It but was... trust me, you did not. <laughs> okay. Shingles or not. <laughs> wait. Shingles or not. Wait, you got shingles on that part of your body? Wait, I'm confused. Oh, no, no, not, oh, a, not, okay. a, not in my junk. No, oh. here, here, here. Oh. Yeah. I got a little shit. That's what you get. You get it here, yeah. Well, you didn't touch me here, did no, you? I don't, I would, I'm I sure don't, I would have remembered. I don't remember. I don't yeah. remember. I don't remember. I was touching a lot of things on that flight. Before your wedding? It's the only way to get it in. <laughs> the only time to get it in. I gotta stop. I'm not even making sense to myself today, yeah, which is no. so... Uh, You're having a bit of a Freudian penis uh, slip, uh, a bit of a Freudian uh, slip <laughs> evening. Hey, uh, so where did you get married then? Uh, in, in India. In India, India, what a lovely choice. Why did you go there? Um, <laughs> I don't know how to explain this to you. I'm Indian. <laughs> no. No, uh, I don't understand. I know. Uh, it's because, which part of India are you from? Uh, New Delhi. Oh, right. The capital. Of India? <laughs> so anyway, I got... <laughs> <laughs> this is the show that goes nowhere. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got married in India. It was, it was a lot of fun. Um, and uh, yeah. Did you have an elephant? Uh, no, I came in on a horse. Oh, nice. Uh, which is pretty standard. Uh, not that horse <laughs> that keeps staring at me. <laughs> Yeah, okay, knock it off, knock it off, you're freaking him out. Sorry, man. It's very, it's, it's put in a very interesting position to be directly staring at all the guests. Yeah, weird, that. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I came in on, on, a, on a prettier horse, no offense, Mr. Creepy Weepy, but um, I just said Creepy Weepy because, you know why? Because you said twosies. When you were talking about the horse, horse earlier, you said it was going twosies. Yes. And I said if Craig can get away with saying words like twosies, then I can get away with words like Creepy Weepy. Okay. Thank you. So, oh, wait, no, we have to take a break. Oh, okay. Are you a good client? Are you a bad client? Yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Canal was just telling me about uh, what happened in his wedding. Uh, yeah, I got married. Oh, well, that's great. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Well, Canal, there you are, everybody. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> it was a wonderful time. Great. And, I, and I, I, to be honest, um, I know in a time um, where, you know, marriage isn't the most sacred thing in the world. I okay, do, I do, do, it is in my house, buddy. Hey, listen. I'm just saying, I love being married. Great. How long have you been married? <laughs> Seven months. <laughs> yeah. I knew it. Well, 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 I'm not being cynical about no, no, your no. love, man. I'm not, no. come on, I'm not being a hater on your love. It's no, cool. No, I know. You, I... You, you guys will be great forever and ever. Thank you. No, it's fine, man. I would have invited you if you didn't have shingles. How did you know? You didn't know I had shingles until I told you right there. Because so when I got back to India, I had shingles all over my body. So I knew you had shingles. Let's stop talking about shingles. Well, we can't talk about anything. We're out of time. Oh. Do you want to do an awkward pause? Yeah. is an actor, an actor. <laughs> I know. He stars in The Big Bang Theory. <laughs> I know. 
<laughs> it airs Thursday nights at 8 on CBS. <laughs> Take a look at this. It doesn't work if you only have uh, one syllable. Because you can say Kunal and I have to go like Craig. Well, my name isn't uh, dramatic enough for you. No, no, it's a dramatic name. No, it's not. It apparently only has one syllable Craig. Yeah, but, you're, but your last name is like Craig Ferguson. What a cool name. You know what I mean? My name is like Kunal Nair. Like it's not, you know. Is it Nair? Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, it's like, it's like actually in India you pronounce it Nair. Like Mayor. Like Mayer. John Mayer? Are you related to John Mayer? He's oh, so adorable. He's so great voice that guy's got. And he's very good with the ladies. Oh, yeah. He's always dating beautiful women. Yes, and the thing is, other women who he's not dating, they love him too. Which, which I want to... <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll just stay out, stay out between you and John Mayer. Oh, I that's not, I just made it up. I don't know. I mean, he seems a very talented man, very nice, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. His face looks nice when he sings. <laughs> <laughs> what does your face look like when you sing? Uh, Let's try right okay, now. Okay. Okay, okay. Do you know uh, the song Artificial... No, no, no. <laughs> uh, uh, what, what's, your, what's a song you like to sing uh, that's not in public domain? Frere Jacques? I can't yeah, sing. Yeah, yeah, Frere Jacques. Sing that. What is that? What is that? <laughs> That means we have a cultural difference here. What is, what's it called? Frere Jacques, it's French. It's my, my brother Jack. It's like, Frere Jacques, Frere Jacques, dormez. Well, now we know what you're singing. No, 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 no. Wait, that's not okay, fair. That's that was my, I'll do my other singing face. What? Okay. Do, Frere. Well, that's good. Frere Jacques. <laughs> You know when people close their yeah, eyes? Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. No, no, no. What was I watching? <laughs> what was I watching the other day? Like the Grammys or something? And the, I can't name who was who were the the actress, but there was an actress in the audience who was singing along with one of the musicians and like pointing out the notes. Oh her, yeah, yeah. She was yeah, like, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. I'm like, not only are you lip singing to the music, you're also fakely pointing out notes. <laughs> Like who, when the singer was, was high, I can't say who it is, but well, why not? Because uh, that's not the kind of gentleman that I am. Oh well, you, all right. So tell me, whisper then. I'll cover my microphone. No, no, I'm no. Just no. curious. I want to know. I'm not going to tell you. Oh come on! No, I'm not going to. All right, you. right. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know who that is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, don't, I, really, I, I seriously don't. Really? Yeah, no, never, never heard of the woman at all. Are you sure she's a real actress? Well, um, I, th I think she is. All right, uh, fair enough. Well, she can. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. You know, like uh, when they, on American Idol, do you watch that show? Yes, yeah, sometimes. Yeah, all right. Uh, yeah, I don't know, I, I've seen it. Yeah. Well, you know when they always do the same singing, it's always <laughs> that that little finger move, oh, yeah. like yeah, that little clitoral stimulation thing that's going on. You can say that word on network television. I don't know, can you? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Uh, apparently, we can only say it once. <laughs> ah. And we've used it up. Okay, good. All right. That was so, anyway, nice hat. Thank you. Yeah. Are you, are you making. Do you like the hat or are you seriously. I like the hat. I'm concerned it might be on uh, wrong way around. <laughs> In, like. It, ah, ah, good. Made you do it. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to see if you were actually losing your hair and were too frightened to tell us. No. You know what is interesting about losing hair for me though is I've 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 gotten like a, I've gotten like a wide widow's peak now. Yeah, that's all right. It's not bad, right? Yeah, that's good. So, unfortunately I don't look as good as Jude Law, but when I'm 35 I'm going to start wearing it back like Jude Law. Let me see. I think you look great. I think you look great. Yeah. yeah. I have had this hat for eight years though, and I bought it for eight dollars. <laughs> I have washed it. 
since. I have washed it. How do you since. wash a hat? Or do you have people wash your hat? You know what I mean? Uh, and I wash my own hat always. Oh, really? But, um, Jeff, uh, do you wash your own hat? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's washing it right now. Yes, uh, he no, is. I, uh, you can get, uh, I, actually, I've never washed it, but I would presume you can get a hat dry cleaned. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's, there's hat uh, dry hygienists <laughs> all over Los Angeles. <laughs> have you ever taken your hat to India? Uh, this hat has gone to India. You can make it flat like this and then put it in the suitcase and then when you get home you just like do this a bunch. And when you go, like when you visit relatives in India and you've got their hat on, are they like, oh nice hat? Hollywood? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, they all were like, oh American return, Hollywood. Yeah, know? yeah, no, no. I get that in Scotland as well. Oh really? Oh, Why? Where's your hat? <laughs> Kunal Nayar's got a hat. <laughs> you don't have a hat. Oh man. Yeah, I know. Should I take it off? No, I like it. Maybe. <laughs> well, it'd be quite good if you turned up to do the show and you took your hat off and put it down like you were a doctor. You know, it's like, well, Craig, I... Oh, yeah, so, so, so you walk in and then I'm just like... <clears throat> well, Craig. <laughs> yes? Um, there's some good news and there's some bad news. You got me a hat? You can have it if that's going to help you <laughs> with the bad news. <coughs> Am I going to have to wash my own hat from now on, doctor? Is that what you're saying? <coughs> have you ever think about that, yeah. doctor? Doctors, oh, that's a good job. You know, once the sitcom thing's done. Becoming a doctor? Yeah, why not? It's easy. In what universe would I want to become a doctor? Are you running out of things to say so you're just like saying inane things to me? I mean, I would rather like... What? Ever seen, have you ever seen a kangaroo live? <laughs> Another joke that I'm not getting. I'm no, like no, it's not, not a joke. It's not a joke. It's an inane thing that I just made up to say to you. Have you ever seen a kangaroo live? No. You know what I find interesting about kangaroos, though, is they have a real-life pouch that they put their babies into. Oh, what? You thought it was somebody was making it up? Like it was a... Doesn't... If you haven't... Okay, if you're a kid and, and you read all these, uh, like, cartoon books that have these things, and then does it sound like a made-up thing that there's an animal that actually has, like, a pocket in its body that you can put your baby in? Like, doesn't that... Yeah, feel... you make a fair point, I mean, actually. I never thought about it, yeah. Okay, this is ridiculous, because my hair's flat now. So... Yeah, you, you got a bit hot hair there, a little bit. We have to take a commercial break. Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. In Scotland. Oh. oh hey, sorry. we were just talking about golf. Canal's taken up golf and so have I. I know. No one is impressed. No, and no one's impressed, but I like it and we can play golf together like friends. I know. I like do you like golf fashion? Yes. That's what I think. Do you like do the full like the Scottish clad type with the Yeah, yeah. Well I'm Scottish the like plus fours and then you know and the bra. Do you wear the bra? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, is there like a golf bra that you wear on your chest? Oh, I don't think so. Maybe. If there is, I'm in. But uh, <laughs> I don't think so. What if men suddenly had to start wearing bras? That would be insane. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do it if you do it. Okay. That's the worst game ever because whenever someone says that, then they don't actually do it. So you're the idiot <laughs> stuck wearing a bra. Yeah. Craig yeah. Ferguson told me to wear this to the Emmys. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll never be at the end. Uh, <laughs> oh. Well, we're out of time. Uh, you want a uh, what do you what want? Do we want do? a bag of money, uh, a big foam finger. You, you want some coconuts, or um, uh, you want a, your own name tag from the Price is Right? Okay, I'll do my own name tag. Uh, you you want to do it yourself? No, no, you do it. For All me. right, I'll, I'll do it. Right. Okay. So you want me to spell Kunal? Yeah. <laughs> uh, want to smell my pen? Yeah. <laughs> Mother, that's good. <laughs> what songs can we sing? <laughs> 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 Thank you.
buddy. Hi, buddy. You you look you look great. You look yeah. sensitive. Yeah, I like your sideburns. It's a very strong, bold look for you. I, I like Thank it a lot. You. Yeah, I, I've never seen you with sideburns before. Uh, uh, yeah, they grow very fast. Yeah. My hair grows insane. My hair and my nails. Yeah. They grow like insanely fast. Yeah, I mean, it's fantastic. You look like are you are you into Mumford and Sons? Do you enjoy I, the? Uh, I like I like their music. I'm not sure about their look, but I like their music. Well, it's get a bit Mumford and Sons. Really? You know, yeah, a little bit. You look like you're kind of Indian. Mumford and Sons. Thank you. <laughs> you know, uh, you know how I know when my sideburns are getting long because I'll like just incessantly keep curling them. Then you can start looking a little Hasidic if you get oh, the. Oh really? Right, uh, if you get the. In, yeah, you know, I didn't have much interaction um, with um, uh, Jewish people when I was in India because we it was just you know, and when I moved to Los Angeles, um, I would see them in the full. Well, with, yeah, the, yeah, with the, the whole thing, yes, and and, and, yeah. and I, my first instinct was, would they be feeling hot? Because yes, it's very, it must be very hot to wear all that. Yeah, yeah. I don't really want to get into that. No, no, I don't either. Yeah. You know, I was just, I don't know. I didn't want to. I don't know where to go with that. Yeah, no, yeah, I, 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 I didn't. You know, I, yeah, yeah. Oh, anyway, because you were. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, Latvian Independence Day. How I about know. That? It's, uh, it's that's the big one. I know. They, it's a. Uh, <laughs> Have you ever been uh, to Latvia or even close or met a Latvian or anything? I never met a Latvian, uh, but we have an Independence Day in India. Well, of course. So uh, if you want to talk about that, I know a lot about that, but I don't know a lot about the Latvian sure. Uh, Independence how, Day. How 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 do you celebrate? Uh, Independence Day? Yeah. We bring a bunch of tanks and stuff out and we fly like fighter jets and we all clap when we see like cool things like that. Yeah. And, uh, that sounds pretty cool actually. I, I know, quite no. like that. They, um, you just like parade them up and down? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And uh, how do you think they, how do you think they um, celebrate Latvian Independence Day? Probably much the same way I imagine. Yeah. You know, that's a... Uh, bring a bunch of tanks out. Tanks out, run them up and down and then how put them tanks, away again. How many tanks do you think they have? What, in Latvia? Yeah. I wouldn't dare to say. I know. Probably... Half a dozen, I'd imagine. Yeah. That's so funny, because I was going to say five, and then I thought, Craig's probably going to say six. So I should have said that. Are you some kind of mind reader? No, 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 no. Are you sure? I have antennas in my side, but... Yeah. This is how I tune into people. I sit next to them, and I do this, and then I, we're in sync now. How are you, do, how are you doing with the uh, being married? Are you okay? Yeah, still married. Wow. Uh, how that's like a year now, isn't it? Uh, all, a year and a half. Wow, that's. Uh, I know. Ooh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah. Come on. Um, I really, I, I really love being married. What else am I gonna say? Well, and of course, course. I love yeah, being gonna, married. I like <laughs> if you would say, well, it's all right, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. You know. No, Just I love being married. You know, it's, it's to your wife. To my wife. Yeah, good. Yeah. I, yeah. Is your wife Indian? She is Indian. Not that that mattered to no, me no, when I was no. finding a bride, but she is Indian. It helps because then when we want to make fun of someone in front of us, we can talk in Hindi. Can you really? Yeah. You so both like, talk Hindi? Yeah, we talk, we, we talk Hindi, but we, we have a combination of Hinglish, which is Hindi and English. I understand. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I understand one word in Hinglish. In Hing which is... Which is Hinglish. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, no, but it's like, for example, let's say we're having dinner and, uh, and we wanted to say, and you were having dinner with us, us and right. we said, isn't Craig's accent really nice? But, well, that, that's not, that's, that's not that, that insulting, just yeah. Let's just what say, about, uh, isn't, uh, doesn't Craig uh, irritate you? Yeah, How about then, that? Then, then we'd be like, <laughs> yeah, Craig, it's not irritate. No, irritates in English. I can't say that in Hindi. Yeah. <laughs> what oh, about, I would say, I would say, Craig, it's not good. Well, and I'd be like, what the hell did you just say there? Yeah. And I'd be like, we, we're just saying that your accent is adorable. Even though Gada means donkey. You, you, so you were saying I was a donkey. Yeah. But that would be like sort of a... Is that a big insult in India to call someone a donkey? Yeah. We have a lot of donkeys in India. Well, are you cruel to them? No, we're nice to them. They carry bricks and stuff. They're okay. <laughs> pretty useful. <laughs> hey, we don't eat them. I mean, yeah, come on. Yeah. Well, we don't eat them either. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I don't think there's anyone we... Well... Oh no, the French, you know the French. Are, yeah, 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 yeah. They chow down on anything that's adorable. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't last it. Ah, yeah. 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 All right, all right. Um, it's funny because when I went to, when I was in Paris, mm. I. Uh, Is that English for Paris? No. Yeah. <laughs> that's just uh, Los Angeles for Paris. I, we. I had, uh, so we were served a dish and I didn't know what it was and I was eating it and I, it was disgusting and I realized what it was. It was beef tongue. It was the, the oh. beef tongue or beef. It was beef the tongue of a cow. Dung? Beef <laughs> dung or tongue? <laughs> you know, in India, they uh, in the villages they build uh, like huts out of cow dung. 
Yeah. <laughs> you knew that? No, but I'm pretending I did. And they, yeah, they dry cow dung. And dry cow dung, and which then is very good as fertilizer. So, yeah. like, if you in your backyard, in your in your garden, if you if your plants are dying, just dry, get some cow dung. Yeah. Okay, and dry it up, and then just uh, put it in your plants. I don't. I don't grow. want to do that. I'll just. Uh, you can put on gloves. I'm not saying use your bare naked hands to scoop up the. Bare cow naked dung. hands. What do you do? Well, I don't. Well, you build a house out of cow dung, then. Yeah, there it? are villages. Villages where out of cow dung, they're like little. Doesn't uh, it smell that bad though? Yeah, it really does. I never understood that. You. <laughs> Have you ever smelled sugarcane, burnt sugarcane? It smells like pee pee. Yeah, I have. And have you ever smelled uh, popcorn properly? Like, smell popcorn. Next time you smell popcorn in a the movie theater, yeah. it smells like hamsters. <laughs> well, you're ruining popcorn for me now. Or, Every time or maybe I'm improving hamsters. Or maybe that's, that's the way. That's true. They, yeah. Glass half full, glass half empty. Do you, do you have a sensitive nose? Mm hmm. <laughs> no, I mean, not like your nose is. Feelings get hurt. I mean, like, just, yeah. Do you have like a. I, that that would be the weirdest thing. Yeah. Don't I'm, hurt the feelings of my nose. <laughs> no, I, I, I can smell. Well, no, not really. I mean, I was, you know, I was a blackout drunk for 15 years. A lot of this stuff is all shot, you know. Uh, plus, you know, yeah, occasional, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what that means. But, um. <laughs> is. So, you don't have a sensitive nose, then how do you. No, like I have a very sensitive nose, mm. uh, so if I'm smelling bad or something, I get very self-conscious. It right. must be like freeing to not smell that well, right? Louis, you, want, you want to hear even better than this? Yeah. My wife, yeah. when she was about 15, she was uh, uh, working with horses and she fell into a horse trough that was next to an electric fence and got a very bad electric shock. How she, is this a good no, thing? No, no, this is a good thing. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, because what happened was she completely lost her sense of smell. And I walk right into that. <laughs> Yes! Yes! That is a good story. It's great. Well, it's a bad story, but it has a happy end. I didn't know where it was going after you yeah, said she yeah. electrocuted. So she can't smell, so like, if I, as long as I keep things quiet, you know, I can do what I like, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like at night, I can just like... <sighs> yeah. You're crazy. Mm. You're a wild man. Yeah. What if that's, that's pretty good if that's the wildest thing you're doing. What, like sneaking out chuffs? No, sneaking out and... Blowing your bad breath in the air. No, 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 no. I, I, was, I was imitating another part of my body being quiet. Oh. Uh, I don't think you've gotten the shape quite right. All right, then. Hold on again. <laughs> <laughs> Am I allowed to mimic uh, that we, on TV using my mouth? We both are then on why the same can't channel. I just, yeah. yeah well, but, okay, then. <laughs> but quietly. I can't do it quietly. That's yeah, so yeah, no, it's very difficult actually, and you should try it with your. <laughs> do it. So, does your wife have a sense of smell? <laughs> <laughs> well, when she got electrocuted, uh, she <laughs> in height. I'm not listening. Let me just get this straight. I am not advocating electrocuting wives. <laughs> yeah, we're not in Latvia. Uh, no, but uh, hey, I'm joking. Hey, hey, I'm joking. Hey. I know, no, I'm joking. Yeah, well, don't. That, that kind of joke isn't appreciated on Latvian. It's their Independence Day. Day. Yeah. Where they get independent it's, from it's, Russia. It's, yeah, exactly. It's, it's Mickey Mouse's day, too, or something, right? Yeah, yeah, Mickey Mouse Day, yeah. Would you, are you Mickey Mouse? Are you a Disney guy? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is Mickey Mouse Disney? Yes, of course, Mickey okay, Mouse Disney. Okay, I grew Disney. up in India, relax. Wow, well, India, like Mickey Mouse didn't make it to India? Come on, oh. Mickey Mouse is everywhere. It did, it did, it did. We yeah. had, you know what was very popular in India was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, which I thought was awesome. Uh, clearly also very popular in Latvia. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, do you still like them? I mean, they're turtles that are ninjas that are mutant and teenagers. <laughs> I mean, how can you go wrong? Like, Mickey Mouse is just a mouse named Mickey. You say that one more time, okay, I'll knock okay. you down. That's who else was part of that family? Minnie Mouse? She was the Mickey one that Mouse, he was Minnie in love Mouse, with. Uh, oh, that's his sister or no? That's who he's no, it's his, it's his girlfriend. That's Mickey his Mouse, girlfriend. Minnie Mouse, and then there's uh, Scrooge McDuck. He's, yeah, yeah, uh, he's uh, funny. He, yeah, I don't like him. No? No. Nah. Why? Because he pretends to be Scottish. He's not really Scottish. There's a guy like it in the audience. And yeah. <laughs> 
people want to be Scottish. Like, yeah. that's cool. Like, no one wants to be Indian because no one's like, no one wants to, you know, no one wants to. There are five Indian. million Scottish people. There are 300 million, half a billion yeah, maybe Indian a lot people. Of us. Yeah, but yeah. I'm just saying it's like, like if an Indian guy picks up a girl, he's like, hey, baby, you look very nice in the moonlight. You know, can I touch your, you know? And so it's not like, <laughs> it's not. Sexy. It's not sexy. You know what I mean? Like when you say it, you say, hey, baby. All right, you, know, you want me to say that same thing yeah, in a Scottish accent? Gonna... All right, then. Hey, baby, I, I see you in the moonlight. Can I touch your... Yeah, see? Come on, don't pretend like the Scottish accent isn't sexy. You know that. You use that. Yeah, in, I kind of turned heyday. myself on there, right? Yeah, there, exactly. Right, right. We have to take a break. We'll be right back with Kanal. <laughs> Be on Dancing with the Stars. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Why aren't you wearing a jacket? Why? What's the deal? Why you make? I told you don't make fun of me backstage. About I this. Well, I just mentioned it. That's all. I just okay. I've done the suit thing. Then once I, uh, you liked it when I wore a suit. Then once I wore a leather jacket and you made fun of me. I didn't make fun of you. you. Did. I, I liked it. You were like season four. That was season four. Like nice leather jacket. <laughs> Well, that just meant you were making a little money and yeah. you, were getting, you got yourself a leather jacket. What are you on, season seven? Season just Why didn't you bring out a fancy seven. car then? Thank you. Season seven. <laughs> and uh, just got picked up uh, for three more years. You're kidding me? Yep. So that's ten, ten? Ten seasons. And ten se That's the magic number. Ten? That's the one you want to do ten, you don't want to do any more than that. Do ten. And ten seasons. That's it. Don't do any more than ten. Okay, great. Thank you. <laughs> Um, I should hire Ask you. me what season I'm on. Which season are you on? Ten. <laughs> ah. Ah. I'm just messing with the internet. They're going crazy. Really? Yeah. Do you ever get people on the internet writing things about you? Yeah, I, I still, like, I'm sort of masochistic that way. Like, I'll still read the horrible comments. Why, and man? And I'll Why? take people on the... I don't know, because I'm, I'm, cra I'm, I'm crazy. I'm an actor. Like, I'm a crazy person. I never think of you as being crazy. I think of you as being kind of vulnerable and beautiful, really. Thank you. Well, <laughs> thank you. Sensitive. Sensitive. I work very hard on my beauty and my vulnerabilism. Vulnerabilism? That's, uh, that's not a word. I was reading an article about cannibalism right before I got on stage, and I think I mixed the two words. <laughs> Are you interested in cannibalism? No, no, no. There was a story about cannibals. And what, so I, what were you reading? Cannibal.com? It, no, it, it was on, I don't know, a news site about two guys. I don't know. I just read the, the headline. You, wait, you, look, dude, you're giving me a hard time. You, read, you, you, said, you said you read something about cannibalism and then I asked you about it. You're all like, oh, don't even oh, ask just me about that. You know what? <laughs> Ever since season 10 started, you've changed. <laughs> Well, there's some truth to that. <laughs> Do you watch the Harry Potter? Do I watch the Harry Potter? Yeah. Can you rephrase that in correct uh, You know, the English? Harry Potter, yeah. You're familiar with the Harry yeah, Potter. Yeah, yeah, you read yeah. the books and yeah, watched yeah. the movies. Uh, I, I have watched the book. I have read the books. I've watched the movies. So. <laughs> Both of us can't speak English. That's funny. Um, <laughs> God yeah. bless America. <laughs> exactly. I like them. I mean, what do you think? Do you like him? Yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm... Why, why is Harry Potter on your mind? Well, I don't know. It came up somehow earlier on. I think because we were speaking parcel tongue and then, you know, yeah, yeah. things got a little weird. I, uh, I liked it. I mean, I, you know, I liked it. I, th I think when I saw all the Harry Potter movies, all I thought of, like, how cool it would be to fly on an actual broomstick. That's what I thought. That's what I took away from all of those movies. Wow, you, you really got invested in them then, didn't you? You really took the, the, the subtext and the, and, the, and, the, and the hidden meaning. Yeah. Flying a broomstick. That's, uh, that that's would life. be awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but seriously, think about it. Like, I know that it's funny that I said that, but seriously, think. If you <laughs> <Not> could, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, could you, would you actually fly on a broomstick if you could? Yes. 
<laughs> well, no, I, I mean, I don't know actually if I think about it, it'd be dangerous. I mean, it was like a motorcycle. Well, I mean, if you had Indians driving the broomsticks, then oh, it'd be dangerous. Oh, yeah, well. <laughs> what? He, have you been to India? He is on the street? Yeah, like, he's, he's Indian, it's okay. Yeah. He's, <laughs> I can but make, he can make a joke people. about Indians. He's Indian. For example, if I was to make a joke about Scottish people, oh, no one's going to pay good money for a broomstick. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I'm Scottish, you see, so it's okay. I always thought that you were Irish. <laughs> I, I always thought that you were from Canada. <laughs> <laughs> but here we are. Oh, man. No, come on. No, I'm man. joking. No, but you see, uh, driving in India, um, it's, it's crazy because it, you're not only dodging just cars and motorcycles and buses, but then there's the occasional cow. Uh, you, and you can't hit a cow because it's a you, sacred if animal. You a, if you hit a cow while driving, like a cow while driving, you literally just lock the windows and get away because people will start smashing you up. Really? Yeah. Well, I mean, accidents happen. You know, I mean, uh, if you... Yeah, do, but it's not... Uh, no. Listen. <laughs> We're worshipping a cow. It's not rational. <laughs> like, I, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I mean, I mean, he said, I didn't say that. I mean, I mean it, it is. Uh, I don't know. What do you, are you worshipping? Are you in the snakes? Are you worshipping snakes now? No, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't worship snakes. No, I, I enjoy their work. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, what about elephants? You have elephants in India? Yeah, we have elephants. Sometimes you'll see an elephant on the road. Obviously not just stray elephant, but you know, like the elephants that are going from wedding to wedding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, like comedians? <laughs> We're very lucky to have a jumbo here with us tonight. Everybody. Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, no, but, but listen, like, be, like for my wedding, I came in on a white horse, right? That's what you do when you come in on a horse. Wow! I know, isn't that cool? Yeah. Yeah. It was cool only until the horse started bucking <laughs> and I, I basically I my pants. <laughs> what? It's an Indian word, man. I can't say that either. You're a racist. Every time I come on the show, I, I, I know, drive up always, the bill. Yeah, no, it's not I, hey, I, did you have Bangra music at your, at your wedding? Bangra, not any music. Uh, yeah, yeah. I love that. How do you know the Bangra? I just got into it recently. It's I, pronounced Bangra, not Bangra. Bangra. I, I, uh, <laughs> I've got an accent. Okay. So, uh, uh, <laughs> but what is it? Bhangra. 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 No, no I got because I was listening to so you you listen to the Dubtronic. Uh, is that the? Do, 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 yeah, yeah, a little, yeah, a little yeah, like yeah. a J Boogie, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was into that. And then I thought, oh, I'm going to go a little deeper. And I wanted, I was thinking of going Acid House. I thought, no, not Acid House. Where else can we go? And I ended up in Bhangra. <laughs> Bhangra. That's unbelievable. It's great music. I love it. I love Bhangra. <laughs> and you never hear the dance. <laughs> like, screw the light button. <laughs> it's great. Theme night. We should have a we should have a theme night here, a big Bollywood night. We should have a big Bangra night. We'll have dancing and people going crazy. And I, I, can we have a cow? You can have a cow. You okay, can't eat it, but you can have it uh, <laughs> hanging out. So we could rent one then. You can, and <laughs> maybe get one of those elephants that go from wedding to wedding. <laughs> it's not like that. I rode a horse into my wedding, but you can also ride an elephant. And um, I'm afraid of heights, and so that wasn't my first choice. But you'll, but how do you get the elephant to Was the it? wedding? It has to walk right to the wedding venue. That's why you see it on the highway sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I am never being allowed back into my country. Oh, again. come on. It, it, it's just a joke, man. Everybody's it's okay. cool. It's I, fine. It's fine. It's all fun. Right. We're comedians, right? I mean, I, you're a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on the day. Yeah, really. Anyway, it's uh, time for a commercial break. Oh, okay. Just pretending to talk to each other. 
That's what we do in the commercial break. Like it's like. Anyway, we're out of time. You in therapy? Oh, now I am. Yeah, all right. Right, I'll be the therapist because I've got the pipe. All okay. right. All right. So, what do you dream about? Last night I had a dream that I was throwing a party for my wife and lots a of. What for your wife? A, a, a party. Okay. For my wife. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, America. <laughs> and uh, lots of hip hop artists showed up. Any Bhangra artists? No Bhangra artists. Right. Just uh, <laughs> good. That's a good try. Uh, and uh, and then I realized during the party, I was running around getting every up uh, the party and getting everyone around and stuff <laughs> that I had forgotten to invite my wife. Whoa. So I woke up in a panic. Yes. In a what? In a in a panic. Yeah. <laughs> And then, uh, this, we could do this all night. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and, uh, and then she was there, and I was like, oh, it's just a dream, it's just a dream. And then I fell asleep, and then we were back in the party, and she, the party. Thank you. God, and she was at the, at the party, and she was not angry at me for not inviting her. The, what does that mean? It means you married the right woman. Oh, that's Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, see, you married an understanding, caring woman who likes you. Like. For the life of me, I couldn't remember what I had done to make sure that she wasn't mad at me. Because that would have obviously come in handy in the future. Well, you know, it's different things. It's not just a, it's not, a woman's not a machine. You can't just go and press a button. Actually, you? well, you know. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a very talented actor. He's a very good friend of this show. He is uh, he's an astronaut. He has his own fragrance, which is called... Banana Hammock. Banana Hammock. <laughs> <laughs> he stars every week in the Big Bang Theory uh, right here on CBS. He is Kunal Nayar, yeah. everybody. Kunal. Well, you look good, man. You look good. You been Thank working you. out or something? You did that with your arm. No, like you... I was just, I was doing this and I think I tore my tricep. Ah. Uh. <laughs> well, the tricep's around at the back, isn't it? Yeah, but, um, I, sh I shut up. Oh, I'm okay. <laughs> You pal, you look, uh, everything all right with you? Everything's great. Did you yeah. get, what's this? Oh, I, I'm yes. going for kid and play. Kid and play. I like it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. I can do that. Yeah, but you're not kidding no, play I'm like not. me, no, you know, or, or maybe aging vanilla ice. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever happened? Whatever happened to, you know, vanilla ice, I saw that he's doing uh, rock music now. Re really? Yeah. That's all I know about him. <laughs> he's doing, uh, he's got all tattoos and he's doing rock music. Well, there you are, Justin Bieber, <laughs> that's what's in front of you. Yeah. Oh. All right. So, uh, what's going on? Are you guest hosting this show in January? I am guest hosting oh, this good. show in January. Right. What are you going to do? Hey, wait, hold on a minute. Hold Thank on. You. Thank you. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on a minute. He hasn't even done what you... I've done 2000 and... 2053. <laughs> I can't believe they give you a round of applause. You haven't even done it yet. Yeah. <laughs> That's what my wife says to Say me. Say that <laughs> What are you getting uh -huh. planned? That was a joke. Yeah. Uh, are, you, are you going to do jokes about your wife when you're on no, the show? No, 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 no. No, I don't can't do even, that. I, I, try, I yeah. learned that early. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I don't. What? 
I'm just gonna, you know, shut my mouth and listen, which, as you know, is hard for me, so I don't know how I would do. Wait, you, like during the monologue? Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> do you, um, yeah, I'm, I don't know. I, I, you know, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm nervous that's, about it. Well, that's how that's I approached thing. it. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> if you could, if you don't know what you're gonna do and walk out, you're already ahead of the game. So I'm going to be fantastic. You're going to be great at this yeah. because what you want to do is anyone that gives you any advice, including me, yeah. ignore it. Okay. Yeah. So, like, seriously, what are your what are your three gems that you could give me? Three gems about how to host the Late Date Show. Don't, even when they want you to. <laughs> <laughs> And don't let them lead you either. Don't let them lead you with your, oh, can you do more about this? No! Whenever they want something, don't give them it. It keeps them guessing. Ha ha! Oh, okay, good. Good, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do really well at this. <laughs> Have you ever done any stand-up comedy? No. Well, you maybe go out and do a little bit first. That'll uh, you sharpen you up for it. I mean, I stand up on the Big Bang Theory. Does that yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, If you stand up and tell jokes, is it called stand-up comedy? Not when I do it. Okay. <laughs> It's, uh, it's more of a performance art. Oh, that, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stand up comedy is a performance art. I, yeah. Of course it is. No offense. I mean, no offense. Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> Stand up comedy is not performance art. Crikey. Is yes, it then, actor okay. boy? <laughs> How many times are you going to say that word today? What? Yeah. <laughs> you got me. Yes, again, I did. Ferguson. So what's going on then? You going, uh, uh, you going back home for I'm Christmas? I'm going to go to India for Christmas. Well, remember I saw you in the airport when I was going home to yeah, Scotland? Yeah, 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 but, but weren't you unwell or something? I was, I had the flu or something. Yeah. Oh, no, oh, shingles. shingles! Shingles! Ah! Yeah. And he was like, oh, like, hey, how are you? I was like, you've got shingles! Like, yeah, yeah, but you can't catch shingles like that. It's not a catchy thing. I, it's, it's, it's called shingles, man. I don't, I'm not getting next to you. I'm sorry. But I don't have it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but you were going home to get married as well. I was, and I, yeah, I was going home to get married. Uh, you had shingles. Yeah. Um, and uh, I think I win, really. I have nothing to say about that. Like, uh, this conversation's going nowhere, as usual. You want to fit in an awkward pause now, then? No, no, no. Gotta, no uh, I'll say that later. Um, so, like, I have to say, though, uh, uh, you were my first talk show nine years ago. Really? Yeah, eight and a half years ago. That was my first. Very, no, very, thing, very true. Let me ask you. And now we both are on the downward spiral yes, of our careers. Yes, on the way out. So on the way out. Yeah. What about uh, what about the experience on other talk shows? How does it differ from this one then? I mean, professionalism, obviously. You know. <laughs> um, this is the best talk show that I've ever been on. Oh yes, absolutely. Yeah. Also said that on every, every other, other talk, talk show. show yeah. I just, uh, just as you said that, went, oh, that's great. Wait, it is coming. Yeah, he's no. going to tweeze no. his mustache. I got nothing. Um, no, no. Look, seriously, uh, in Hollywood, sometimes being on a talk show can be a rite of passage. You know, like, yeah. oh, I got invited to the Late Date Show. <clears throat> so, I'm not getting emotional. I just swallowed my own <clears throat> spit. <laughs> Um, Are you all right? Do you want a drink? There's a drink right next to you. Oh, yeah, sorry. Please, I'll, I'll take Thank a you. drink too in case some of your spit got in me. <laughs> you already gave me shingles. So this, oh, I didn't give you shingles. Shingles isn't like that. It's a, I, think, I don't think you can catch shingles from people. How did you get shingles? You know, it's a good question. <laughs> I think it happens when, you, when you're a kid and you have, did you have chicken pox when you were a kid? Yes. Then you probably get shingles. Look, I'm not a doctor, just like Dr. Phil isn't, <laughs> but I, uh... <laughs> no, he's a real doctor. <laughs> Shall we, uh, take a commercial break? Um, yeah. I, I, do we make money? Do I make money if we do? <laughs> Is that how they got you to guest host this? They told you that? <laughs> we'll take a break. I'll be right back with Kadana. Yeah.
come here to, you know. No, no, yeah. No, no. Welcome I, back, everybody. I'm here with Kanon Ayar, and uh, we were just talking about uh, his uh, watch, which is fantastic, isn't it? <laughs> um, should I tell you the truth about this watch? Oh, okay, yes. Is it a terribly sad story? No. Okay, <laughs> then tell me. So for the 100th episode of Big Bang Theory, CBS gave me a very, uh, uh, very generously gave me a very expensive watch. What? Uh, yeah. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell, man? No, 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 but that's not the story. That's the story to me, buddy! <laughs> We're in episode no. 2053 and I got a sweater! <laughs> So I returned the watch because it was expensive and I got two watches. Yeah, I see, that's great. Do they, do they know? Because they do now. Well, they do now. <laughs> so this is one of them. So oh. thank you CBS for both my watches. So why did you, did, were you uncomfortable with a very expensive watch? No, no, it's not that. It just, it didn't, it, the, the face of the watch was too big for my slender wrist. <laughs> They also have slender wrists. Yeah. Yeah. Look, see how slender they are? That's pretty slender. Uh, yeah, no, you know what? It's an, in, it's an indication of a large... Um... <laughs> What's the word I'm looking for? Doctor? Yes. <laughs> a large doctor, when you were a child, pulled you out by your wrists. <laughs> <laughs> That's so stupid, it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine if you're a baby and like literally like a dog like, is pulling oh, your wrist. Yeah, yeah. Or you just came out like that. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> that that is how acrobats are born. Acrobats yeah. are that's how you know when a child's Ready an to acrobat. Shoot the with cannon, and then, then like, they go, boom! Yeah! <laughs> and then they land like this. Oh, I knocked oh, yeah. over one of my things. What is that? Uh, Carrie Fisher was here last week and gave me some gifts. Uh, they're from uh, from where are they from? Somewhere in Asia. Uh, they're little penisy things. Look in there. <laughs> What? Yeah, I know. Why would she give you that? You guys can't see it because we can't do a close-up, but it's like, it's someone peeking at their... The junk? Their junk. Can I yeah. say junk? Yeah, you can say junk. Oh, they're peeking at the junk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, she can give it to me because she's Carrie Fisher. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> she can't live by your rules. Uh, not or her own rules, rules, actually. Rules. Yeah, yeah, no, she's uh, lovely. Have you met Carrie? Yes, she was actually on an episode of, of Big Bang Theory yeah, when yeah, yeah. we had... Um, uh, what she was with a bat. She had a bat and she was chasing down. Um, oh my god. I'm losing my mind uh, James Earl Jones oh. <laughs> You said it right. I said it wrong. Yeah, no, you said it right. I said it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah I just had a listen. It's un sometimes you get scary when the camera's rolling and you forget <laughs> I'm gonna be a great host. <laughs> You are, actually. Because I can just make up stuff. No, because you, 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 like, own it. Just own, uh, it. just own it. It's fine. It's cool. Nobody else, we're all human. It's fine. Everybody makes mistakes. Sometimes you forget things. I sometimes forget how to spell lemon. <laughs> that's... Why, that's why, why, that doesn't even make any sense. How do you... It's a two-syllable two word. Wait, wait. <laughs> wait. I helped you out when you were worried sorry, about... Sorry, sorry. And you came right back with no, no, judgy sorry. judgment sorry, to me? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, but you know, you are like, just own it, just own it. You yeah, know? And, and then, I, and then I, I, I opened up and I was vulnerable and I told you about my lemon okay, problem. Okay, what's... You're like, oh, how can you even... Okay, I'm ah, sorry, I'm right. sorry. But that, okay. Tell me, okay. What's... Tell you again? No, 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 no. What, what is it about the word le lemon that you can't spell? Like, what is it? Do you think it's L-A-Y-M-O-N? No, I just, I, you know, I, it doesn't last long. I just occasionally I go, lemon, oh, I, uh, uh, and then I spell it. Um, I think something happened to me when I was learning how to spell it. Okay. <laughs> Good. Good times. Good times. Um, uh, so, is there, let, uh, me think, let me think if there's a word that I don't... Oh, I always get P-E-I-C-E or P-I-E-C-E. -E, peace, wrong. Oh, well, that's... And, then, and everyone tells me that dumb rule, like E before I and C before you. And I'm like, what? <laughs> there's a rule. It's like, what's the rule? E I before E except after C. C, you know it. Yeah, but it's, no, it doesn't really work. Well, uh, anyway, that's my word. It's like he who smelt it dealt it. Sometimes it's true. <laughs> um, the worst... The worst place to have a fit of gas is on an aeroplane. Oh. Or in an elevator. <laughs> yeah, but an aeroplane, especially when you're going to India, is 20... Like, you know, it takes yeah, 24 yeah. hours. Yeah, yeah, it's a long time. And, um... 
Indian food is particularly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. No, I'm... <laughs> it is. So on the way there's all right, but on the way back, yeah, I hear you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're out of time. <laughs> this is, uh, that's it for us? That's the end of a long run for us. Nine you know, years, it's been a long one between yeah, us. You know, we can acknowledge we, we, we that. Well, look, you know, you know, maybe, sure. maybe I'll do some kind of other show. Yeah, I'd love to be, I'd love to, um, it'd be great. <laughs> so you're saying nothing so that you're not actually committed to doing anything. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, exactly. no, are, I'm like, uh, What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? Now, before we go, everybody, I, I'd like to thank the gentlemen of the cast of the uh, Big Bang Theory for being here. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Of the Big Bang Theory. And we would like to wish uh, a good night uh, to Kaylee, um, wherever you are out there. <laughs> <laughs> Wave goodbye to Kaylee. Goodbye, Kaylee. Goodbye.